Hello everyone, I am back. I hope you're doing all right. Man, there is a pandemic going on out there and there's pandemonium and everybody's in panic. And actually, I'm panicking because I'm down to my last roll. Ah! No, I don't know what all this toilet paper stuff is about. And I know that you're probably sick of it. Everybody's had a joke about it. But look, joking aside, everybody, man, should just take a deep breath and relax and get into the belly breathing. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about today is belly breathing to get over this panic, to get over the stress, because we've all had enough. And man, if you're sitting at home, wherever you are in the world, you're probably starting to crawl the walls because if, if you are isolated and, and you're on lockdown, it is not a good feeling. We are, we are being imprisoned in our own homes with this, but there is definitely something that you can do, and that's to take a deep breath. And that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you can do in order to make this a reality, in order to be able to relax and impact your entire way of feeling and thinking and feeling. All right, did I just say feeling? I said it twice, but that's okay. But anyway, let's jump right in. During abdominal breathing or belly breathing, what you wanna do is take a deep breath in through your nose, okay? So while you're sitting in a chair, I'm sitting in a chair, trust me, you can't, well, you can't see the back of it. it. There's a chair there. So I'm sitting up straight, have my feet on the floor, my hands resting on my knees. I'm going to take a deep breath in, counting to three, in through my nose. So ready? Let's try this. So one, two, three. Hold it. One, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three. And you exhale out your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. So you're going to take a deep breath in through your nose, counting to three, one, two, three. Then you're gonna hold it for one, two, and three. And then you're gonna exhale just slowly without really forcing it. Exhale out of your mouth, one, two, three, okay? And then you wanna repeat that again. So you're gonna have three cycles of this. Now, the way that you know that you're doing it correctly is that your belly should push out, okay? So if you notice your shoulders start to lift or your chest pushes out, you're doing it wrong. Your belly should push out. So while you're taking a deep breath in through your nose, take and put either your right or your left hand on your belly. So let's just say your right hand, put your right hand on your belly. And as you breathe in through your nose, push your stomach out. So as you're pushing it out, you're expanding that lower area. And that's how you know that you're doing it correctly. And so every time, that you are filling that lower cavity with air, you should be trying to expand it each time that you're doing it. So you're gonna go this much the first time, then this much, and then that much. And so it's almost like if you've ever had to be able to blow up balloons, were you ever given the job to blow up balloons at a party? And I'm not talking about with the helium, but those are fun because then you get that strange voice, right? But no, blowing up balloons with your mouth, when you do that, you take them out of a pack and you try to blow the first time. What happens? Is it easy or difficult to have the air go into the balloon? Well, it's very difficult, right? But if you take and you stretch that balloon and you pull it this way and that way, and then you blow and then you stretch it out and then you let the air go out and then blow in it again, what happens? It becomes much easier the second and third and fourth time that you blow in it. Same thing with your lower abdominal area when you're breathing in, is that you're going to expand it because many times we are not using that if we're not practicing it. And so it's almost like a brand new balloon out of a pack 
And so you're going to have to stretch it. And although we can't take our stomach out and stretch it in different ways, but we can stretch it by filling it up and then making it contract, right? We're gonna fill it up and then we're gonna let all the air out. And every time that we do that, so we are expanding that area. That area is much larger. So when we're gonna get that oxygen full, it's going to help get more oxygen into your blood that's gonna go all over your body, your brain, all your different organs and your tissues, and it's going to help you relax. This is the way that you can tackle the coronavirus. Aside from washing your hands, and aside from not touching your eyes and your mouth, this is something that will have a direct impact on your heart rate, your blood pressure, and your immune system. Those are three great things. Again, this deep belly breathing, these exercises will impact your heart rate to help lower it. It'll help lower your blood pressure and it will help you to build your immune system, okay? Because when we stay in that, in the other video, I talked about the sympathetic versus the parasympathetic. And remember, the sympathetic nervous system is in charge of our fight or flight. And when we stay in that too long, we end up compromising our immune system. We end up getting sick. So if you remember going back to college or any time you've had an extended period of stress, you probably came down with a cold or something, right? Because you compromised your immune system and then you made yourself susceptible to getting sick. So a lot of people may do this with the coronavirus, with this impending panic that we have going on. We're watching the news all day long. We're talking, we're gossiping. We're like, oh no, the end of the world. It's very serious. I don't need to, I don't mean to make light of it. However, if we're stuck in that negative mindset, we are constantly, constantly have our sympath the sympathetic nervous system just going, 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 going. We're gonna run ourselves down. Our immune system is gonna go down and we're gonna be more susceptible, not necessarily maybe to the, to the coronavirus, but to other viruses, bacteria, and influenza that's going around right now on top of this. So again, with this deep belly breathing, this is just a very simple introduction. I'm keeping these very short. I'm gonna go into more detail than the others. If I could speak tonight, that would be great. It's about 11 o'clock at night. I've already worked all day, so I'm very, very tired, but I'm doing this for you because, hey, you know what? Things are gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. So I want everybody to smile, take a deep breath. Do it three times and you're gonna notice a very relaxing effect on your body, in your mind, your muscles. You might even get a little tingly effect in your brain. And in the next couple of videos, we're gonna talk about using this bad boy, the Fitbit. I don't know if you, can you see it? And I'm gonna tell you how this, you can use this with your nose and breathing to get actually de-stressed and be able to boost your immune system. So check in soon because the next video is coming up. All right, I'll see you then. Take care.